Hello, friends and followers. Well, look at this. This is a 180 scope from Hewlett Packard. I haven't done much with it yet. I'm just kind of checking it out. So I'm taking you along for the ride. I have the generator on this thing and just throwing some sine waves and other waves into it. Anyway, let's check it out. So you turn it on like this. On it comes, takes a moment, and it comes up. This is a bit like a tectronic scope in some ways in that it does have the concept of plug-in modules. I guess they were copying tectronics, or tectronics copied Hewlett Packard. I think the scope is from 1962 or so. It's the model HP 180 or the 180A. This is supposedly their first solid state scope from what I read. And it's supposed to be, I think, 100 megahertz. So I've been fiddling with it here to see what it would do with the uh, generator. And that's a 12 megahertz signal I'm putting into it right there. About 12 megacycles and looks okay. Can crank it up here let's see no it's it's up as high as it can go so yeah with with a 12 megahertz signal that's what i get i can crank this thing up to uh probably 30 megahertz here let's see so there's 20 megahertz right there looks like it's having some issues let's try and Mess around with the sink. And that is a square wave. Well, that's why. Let's go back to sine here. Okay, there's our sine wave. And we're at 20 megahertz now. So we can display 20 megahertz. I don't think you can drill down into it, but you can display it. And let's go up to 30 megahertz. There's 30 megahertz, and that's as good as you're going to get at 30. So Oh, okay, I have one more click there to go. So there's no more horizontal speed that I can impress into this thing. So I think it's probably a 10 megahertz scope. Let's see. Let's go back down to 10. Okay, there's 10 right there. How can I get... Yeah, you can see 30 megahertz. There's three megahertz right there. There's two, there's one. You can see 30 megahertz, but I'm not sure how useful it is at that, at that range. So there's 30 right there. Anyway, it's a, uh, a typical two channel scope. And there's 10 megahertz. So I can try and hit it with a few different waveforms. That's a square wave, and it's not displaying a square wave. CMOS, whatever that is. DC, triangle wave. So it pretty much approximates everything. That's a ramp wave. So it's not as impressive as the uh, Tektronix uh, 11403 I had in here, but this is probably 20 years older than that scope. Anyway. I think for basic scope type things and maybe looking for amateur radio modulation type things, this would work. I just wouldn't expect a lot out of it. All right, so we're back to sine wave now. So what kind of controls are on this thing? Well, it has the usual intensity control here. Uh, intensity, what's this one? A beam finder, wow, that's bright. There's a focus control and scale. So it has like a little radical scale you can light up or not. Power button has some calibration inputs there. And this is the position here, horizontal, fine and coarse. And what's this? I, magnifier, oh, that's interesting. So. That may be how to get more speed out of it. So let's see. Ah, yes. 
So let's crank it back up again, and maybe this thing will do 100 megahertz. Let's see. With the magnifier, that could be the secret. So let's go to frequency. Let's crank it up to 30 where it was. Okay, there's 30. And X10 magnifier is down there, so I can X10 this turkey like that. Let's give it some more amplitude. That's telling me I can give it 5 volts. Let's try and smooth it out. Well, that's kind of a fishy looking wave, but maybe that's as good as I'm going to get at 30 megahertz in this thing. So this is probably a 10 megahertz scope, I'm thinking. It doesn't seem to track very well at a higher frequency. So anyway, but for their first solid state scope, I guess it's reasonable. Let's go to X5 here. That's somewhat more reasonable. I think the scope needs cleaned up too. All right, so that's how to work that. Of course, we can change the voltage here. Make it a little more glamorous. And of course, this is a vertical module, so we're on A channel. A position and here we can do things like run A, run B, chop, alternate the usual stuff and this is our A input voltage per radical so that's how that works and we have Aha, uh -huh, look at that. So I didn't have it on DC input. How stupid of me. Let's go to DC. There we go. So I was trying to display square waves on AC, which is not going to work. Let's try it again, Sam. Play it again. All right, let's crank it down. I'm on 30 megahertz. Let's go down to something reasonable, like 5 megahertz. There's 5 megahertz right there. Crank down the amplitude. Now let's try some wave stuff here. I'm gonna go to sine wave, okay, waves. Okay, that's a sine wave. CMOS wave, whatever that is. DC, a triangle wave, that doesn't look like a triangle. A ramp, negative ramp. Steer, steer. Well, it tries. I wanted to find a square wave on this thing. I think I can get a square, there's a square wave. So that's not a very nice looking square wave, is it? Position, let's see, where's my position? Uh, probably on here. There we go. Now I can't say that's a very looking, good looking square wave. So they have some uh, calibration points there. I suppose I can try those. Anyway, that's the little scope here. This is your coupling, vertical, horizontal, and yeah, it works. Basic scope for doing basic stuff. You could probably repair some ICs and some very slow computer stuff with this thing. Maybe some radio work and some oscillators. In the HF range, I don't think it's gonna to be too applicable to high-speed digital, but that's about that. Um, let me take the probe off of here. And I wanna put the probe into the probe socket here and see what happens. Okay, there's 10 volts, 5 volts. So what does that do for us? I wonder. Is that a square wave or what? Let's speed this thing up. It's up all the way. K 
All right, let me see what it is. This one's 10 volts. Okay, there's something. Uh, I have one hand, so I'm not doing, oh, there's something right there. Slow it way down. Looks like a square wave is coming out of this thing. Yeah, look at that. Okay, it will make a square wave. Look at that. A very nice one, too. All right, well, it looks like it sure does display square waves. It looks like my generator is uh, at fault. Okay, that's my tour of the uh, little Packard scope here. It's quite a glamorous little guy. I think it's from 1962. This was the the HP 180A. Okay. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Oh yeah, and you can pull the modules out. I'm sure. Let's see. Probably uh, lower this down and pull them out. Okay. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.